Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how we run our air conditioning off-grid. I typically keep a lot of our camping gear and totes in the van. This hose right here we use for the condensation runoff. And this other hose is for the atmospheric hot air. So it's going to blow the hot air to the outside of the van. I'm using two 12 volt lithium batteries and that you see in front of them is an EcoFlow Wave air conditioning unit. It has a battery on the bottom side and those are the two ducts that I've installed to run my drain and my hot air out. I found those items on Amazon. Somebody has a company that is 3D printing them. Usually you want to run a drain to either a bucket or straight out of the bottom of the vehicle. The heat, however, can run out of the side or the bottom. And from what I've read, you can pull air from the inside of the vehicle safely. Also, I have 300 watts of solar on the roof. This is a 40 Conaline mid-roof van. I have a 2500 watt inverter charger and a 30 amp Renogy charge controller. That is off the back of the air conditioning unit itself. And I take that off for easy installation of the drain hose and the heat hose. Also, what you see next to that is a 12 volt outlet that I've converted to a 24 volt outlet with a step up converter. It is 8 amps, 24 volts, and that's what I use to charge the battery on the bottom of the EcoFlow Wave, which I will be showing you here in a few. The weird thing about this exhaust hose is that it is reverse threads on both connections. The one going down through the floor that is 3D printed and also the one going in the back of the unit itself. So this is an extra cable that I purchased on the EcoFlow website and it plugs into the side of it and comes with a 12 volt charger. You can use 12 volts or 24 volts, obviously 24 is going to be better. On the bottom is where the battery plugs in and you can also plug it in 110 and not use a battery at all. Although you cannot plug it into a 24 volt outlet and run it that way, you have to use the EcoFlow battery if you go that route. As you can see now that we're plugged in, my battery is charging. It was already almost full which it was charging off of my batteries, which are getting charged from my solar panels. All right, we're turned on. As you can see, that is the fan running. I have a thermostat on the front of the unit. There's four buttons on the top. And with just the air running, you do not have to have it ducted to the outside of the vehicle. That is only for the air conditioning. The four buttons on top are to change the unit of measure or to turn your fan up or down to power the unit on or off or to switch from fan to AC. You also have a timer that you can set but the higher the fan the less amount of time your air conditioner is going to run unless you're charging it one way or another. There is an economy mode and I believe that your AC will run for eight hours on one full charge with one EcoFlow battery attached to the bottom. And the cool thing about this is, is we can go anywhere we want in our van and we can set in a parking lot, set in a field, it doesn't matter. We can run air conditioning without the van running. And with the charge from the solar panels going through my charge controller to the batteries, out 24 volts to this unit, we seem to sustain full charge all the time. EcoFlow has a pretty cool app that you can download on a phone or a tablet and uh, I'm going to show you that right here. You can uh, set your temperature, you can turn on a timer, uh, switch from economy mode to fan to air conditioner. It'll tell you 
the percentage of your battery life. Um, it's a pretty cool deal. If I was going to do it all over again, I would do the exact same setup I have right now. Um, we live in Missouri. It gets, it gets to about a hundred degrees every day during the summer. And, uh, this seems to keep our van about 65, no problem. And, uh, we always seem to keep full batteries as long as the sun's out. So, uh, yeah, here it is. This is how you can run air conditioning, not hooked up to anything. This is a standalone unit and, uh, it's pretty awesome. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out arnold.escapades at gmail.com and subscribe to see more how-tos and more content from off-grid camping. Thank you all for watching and feel free to give us a follow on social media over at Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel.